Councillor Fluker, followed by Councillor Wesley. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Val, I, I should know this in some of the comments. I think it was Mr. Sigurd Johnson's uh, questions, and I actually jotted some of them down, and you may not have an exact accurate. How many households are there on this waiting list that need the kind of, I'm going to use the term, social housing uh, that is necessary? Is, how, how many would there be, and what would the wait times be? Do you have a ballpark figure? Councillor Fluker, I can't actually speak to the social housing wait list. That sits under Shelley Wilkins. I appreciate that, yeah. And we can get you that information, but I want to just point out something that someone who's experiencing homelessness doesn't mean that they're going to be on the wait list. We would typically find them appropriate housing and put them on the wait list until they can find more affordable housing. Okay. So you may have seniors on the wait list, you may have young couples, singles, and it all depends on the size of the family, where they want to live. So there's a lot of variables. But if someone's homeless, they're not waiting on that wait list. We would find them either a temporary housing or sometimes transitional housing, which might be through the Women's Centre, it might be through Canadian Mental Health. So they're, you're looking almost at two different metrics. Organizations like the Salvation Army, the Help Centre, and other organizations, have you had the sense from them that there's a need to expand our emergency housing facilities that exist in Chatham-Kent? Have you felt that kind of pressure? Uh, Councillor Fluker, when you say emergency housing, I'm assuming you mean something like a shelter or the hotels that we use exactly. in the evening. I think that ebbs and flows through the year. I mean, when the cold weather hit two weeks ago and it was very, very cold, we did have more people maybe calling that were living in in a rural area, you with know, that had their heat shut off. Darn hydro, yeah. Exactly. So in that case, we might be able to help with hydro rears and those types of things. So when I look back in the report and we talk about the number of people who were put into emergency housing like a hotel. I think the number is 71 in the report. Thank you. So again, it's, and it's different times. Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship.